Hello, welcome to another episode of A Better Lived Life. So, the topic I decided to cover today is because of my own situation. I am pretty stubborn about doing things myself and not spending money I don't have to. I still have student loans and I still have a lot of work left to do on my retirement. That said, this week called for making hard choices. With ADHD, we have a limited amount of energy, focus, and willpower. And on any given day, burnout can happen if we use up that energy and that willpower. And tomorrow could be miserable because of it. We therefore have to plan. If things are about to get crazy, something has to give. There are some free things we can do. Let's say, for example, you know that next week is going to be very intense. It is acceptable to look at your calendar and cancel or reschedule non-essentials. This may mean letting your child's coach know that they're not going to be at practice one day. If work is what's going to be crazy, it means looking for things that can be canceled, given to a coworker, or deprioritized. If possible, complete extra tasks the week before. This could mean making and freezing meals or just making sure you do enough laundry so that you won't run out during the crazy time. If parts of next week's chaos can be done early, consider it. We have Thanksgiving coming up. Can you bake and freeze parts? Can you prep some of it the day or two before? Think about what you can do to make life easier on yourself. This week, I worked Saturday and Sunday. Monday was my only day off. So I did a load of laundry first thing and cooked a few items. Ideally, I could have done the laundry on Friday, but frankly, I forgot. But now I do have enough clean clothes to get through this craziness. Didn't do all my laundry, but I did enough. I will be working Saturday as well. So this week I am working more than the 40 hours at my day job. I still have my side business and I still have this channel and my lovely viewers. I had to acknowledge that something was going to give. I could pick something or I could wait and see what I failed to do. So I made a deliberate conscious choice. I'm not doing any cooking this week. None, nothing. I have some things in the freezer, but not enough for the whole week. I did a little cooking uh, Monday, but not enough for the whole week. And I don't know if I'm actually going to get Sunday off. I may have things to do with friends or family that will prevent me from having the energy to cook, or I might just not have the energy after such a long week. So it could end up being actually 10 days before I find the energy to cook again. So I chose a middle ground. Instead of ordering takeout or going to a restaurant regularly, which could get insanely expensive doing that on a regular basis, derailing my financial goals, I am going to eat healthy. And I'm also going to not be quite as environmentally unfriendly as most restaurant takeout would be. I am very lucky to have a restaurant near me that focuses on vegan food. What's more is what they do is they prepare an entire week of food. So it's not a one meal. It is an entire week of delivered food. They bring it to you. They drop it off. It comes in a bag. You have an entire week. It has some entrees, it has some sides, and you mix and match uh, lunch and dinner for the entire week. It comes out somewhere about like $8 per meal, which 
is still way more than if I had cooked myself or if I had frozen meals, but it gives me a little more variety and it's way less than if I was just eating out all the time and it's healthier than if I just snacked all week. So I get some health, I get some savings and life is about balance. For me, this was an acceptable compromise and I only do it once, maybe twice a year on particularly crazy weeks. It allows me to stay close to my goals. We can't do everything. Let me say that again. We can't do everything. Trying to do more than our bodies will let us do leads to that downward spiral that we know with ADHD. It can throw us off for days, if not weeks. So better a few dollars up front and staying on track than a downward spiral buying junk I don't need, staying up too late, eating poorly, getting distracted, and just generally making bad decisions. And we all know that those bad decisions come from burnout, decision fatigue, and rejecting the stress of reality. So I chose the middle ground to save myself. This is part of self-care. We have to learn what our limits are and learn to accept them. Then have the grace to give ourselves what we need instead of punishing ourselves because we're not doing enough, we're not being enough. Love yourself today. Love yourself tomorrow. Love yourself every day. What do you need? Do you have a crazy few days coming up? What can you do to make those days easier on yourself? Is family coming over? Maybe hire a cleaner instead of stressing yourself out. Or ask a friend to help. Is this the year that maybe you shouldn't host the holidays? Maybe someone else should? What can you cancel or reschedule if you're having a crazy week? What can you do or order in advance to decrease the stress? What do you need and can you give it to yourself? I hope that you give the, yourself the grace that you need. Now, go forth and do great things.